small group so far today. Nothing to talk about. Hey, I added an agenda item, but pretty much everyone here already knows it. I guess Kristoff does it. I can tell him. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> No, it's just it's just not many people here. Usually by now we have like twelve people, and it's, yeah, it's like Queen Peters and you. <laughs> so yeah. hi. Yeah, a few a few times I connected and opposite there was nobody, and and, um, and maybe I should check the agenda. There was uh, I think it happens every two weeks, and I follow the schedule, and all of a sudden I think internally it was discussed to skip it, and I didn't know about it, so I was sitting by myself. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah. I think I think the um, the calendar, which is linked somewhere, is up to date. But yeah, yeah, if you copy the meetings to your personal calendar, they may not get updated. Yeah, yeah. I, I, definitely, we had a couple of switches but, where we like did the later hours and then the earlier hours. But yeah, no, that's okay. I mean, it's nothing really happens. Spend five minutes to be here, and then that's just connected. Yeah, it's clicking it's a link and then kind of obvious. <laughs> But I mean, as long as you're here and no one but maintainers is joining, do you have things you want to discuss or are you just hanging out and seeing what gets brought up? Um, no, I have really nothing to discuss, to be honest. I just would like to know what's going in the community. And, that, um, and I found it that once I started connecting, uh, I feel kind of uh, closer to the community versus being a little bit of an outsider. So <laughs> that's, mm -hmm. that's, that, that's my goal. Yeah, I mean, the one thing I wanted to drop in as an update is I've been like, we, the maintainer community, have been struggling a lot because GitHub review process sucks. Like mm -hmm. internally, if someone's reviewing and they like address my comments, it shows up in bold. Whereas GitHub, I usually have like 20 different PRs and like 18 of them are waiting and I have no idea what I'm supposed to look at. So I'm adding tooling that does like scrapes GitHub once a day and throws things in mm -hmm. Slack for the maintainers. And also I just added for API shepherds. So if, if folks see things Stealing out that aren't getting caught by this ping me and I'll, I'll make sure my scripts are are catching everything but hopefully it'll it'll help us not lose track of things where i know that like for sure anytime i marked something as read and didn't review it like it could it could vanish um so hopefully that'll be better uh and then the other thing that i want to call out is v2 is actually getting removed i'm so excited <laughs> ryan's not here but he's been doing a lot of the work and it's awesome well, I also, uh, there are multiple folks who work in this. Tian is also being quite active in this. And Harvey did our first template PR of like, how the heck are we supposed to do this? So it is definitely a group effort. I don't think anyone wants to take all of this on, but it's very exciting to see it happening. Um, but I don't think we have anything on the agenda. So do you have folks have things they want to talk about? And there's a bit of discussion on how we want to do H3, um, both on Slack and on issues. And I think we decided there's not much we can do because the OpenSSL build. So uh, Ryan Hamilton of the Google mobile team is looking at trying to shift where we have our pound defines just to have fewer of them. But we think we're still going to have to have to have a compile out option. Um, yeah. Because there's, like we looked at doing OpenSSL stubs for like the differences between boring and OpenSSL interfaces and decided that that was, that was going to be worse. Uh, and no one wants to maintain it. So at least with the pound defines, we have CI catching it if we screw up. And I think to Jan's point, once we have it imported, we won't have the problems that, that you've been encountering. So hopefully it's just a, a one-time pain for Google as we as we import. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the problem is resolved at Google. I think what we should probably aim for is when we put the if def that like cuts out half of the file, I, I would slightly prefer to actually create a separate file and manage it for the build for the Basel, you know, exclude it in the Basel rather than put if def, you know, in a file. I think it's a little bit less error prone. Okay, uh, what are you ping Ryan RTH at uh, okay. internally and just make sure, because he's, he's been poking around, he said he found a, a couple of ways to make it better. And I think as long as you turn in sync, we'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, that that sounds good. Um, I, I think for me, the the only question I, I was actually going to ask it in maintainers, but since you know we actually don't have a lot of agenda and we have you know people who are actually <laughs> knowledgeable of this, I was thinking, um, do we did we consider of using fast builds in CI instead of release builds because it's actually 
you know, I, I think it may result in a significant time saving. Uh, internally, um, it's not comparable because our build VM is slightly larger, but I was able to get down the build time something like 40% from debug to fast build on Linux. So we may end up saving, you know, making CI run faster, at least for Linux and Windows. I don't know about Mac, uh, but we may be able to get some saving if we switch from release builds to fast builds in, in like PRCI. Yeah, I think we want to keep one release build just to make sure it works. But if we could switch everything else over and we don't lose debug info, that'd be amazing. Like, have at it. Okay. And uh, and tag Flax on it because I think he's the only other person who might have. Like, I think like Lizon who's here and didn't object, and Ryan are the only people who would have comments. Okay. Yeah, I, I think that that makes sense if that makes um, the time significant faster. I. I think I did experience earlier and that wasn't that faster in in at least with RB, it's not that significant, but it was a revisit to that decision. Um, okay. And, uh, but I think for some sanitizer build, it does require the bug build um, to get uh, like, for example, ASAN and TSAN, if you want to get the uh, um, stack trace for, for those um, for like where the memory access happens to get the complete stack trace, you need the debug build for sure. Okay, no, I'm not going to modify that uh, those builds. Yes, uh, I was just thinking of replacing where we run release builds with fast builds and see, you know, just try try it with one, just replacing Linux release with Linux mm -hmm. fast build, and see what saving we'll get since. Okay. But then we still need for the for the post submit we still need a release build to build the yes. image and publish to Docker. Right. Uh, yes. Okay. Sure. Yeah. This is only for when you run the CI just to okay get the build results faster. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I I don't think that it's probably going to be as big of a saving because our our build internally we. We actually link locally. We, we don't link on RBE, so we mm -hmm. um, th that might where we actually you know gain the most. Um, but mm -hmm. I, I expect there will be some win anyway. Would be good to measure. Okay, there's no. I'll, I'll craft a PR. See you know. Okay. See what comes out of it. Sounds good. I don't have anything else. All right, I think Alisa is on mute. I, I think you said no, something. No, yeah, I was doing my, does anyone have anything else? And no one said anything, so oh, I thought I was okay. good. Yeah, I'd hardware muted. <laughs> if no one has anything else, I think we might as well drop offline rather than stare at each other's faces. Okay. See you folks in two weeks. See you. Thanks, bye.